morning, your beloved people of God. The scripture readings of this Sunday point to the control that God exercises over the entire cosmos. God can subdue or rebuke any power that is in this universe because He is the creator of everything that is. The book of Job is a very interesting book. If you start to read this book, you will encounter a Sadiq. In Hebrew, we say Sadiq. A righteous man named Job who suffers immensely and he does not know the reason. This baffles him. There come storms one after another into his life and he loses everything, including the most dear to his heart, his very children. He then suffers physical sickness, sores all over his body, from the head to his toes, and it looks like as if there is no end to his suffering. And so, he utters frustrations and asks God to give him justice for the right living. He being unable to endure his unexplained troubles, he posts several questions to God and asks him to show his very self to him. But we need to notice one thing here. He never curses God. Job's laments of cry and questions reflect his helplessness but not his hopelessness. For he knows that only God can give answers to his questions and bring peace in the storms of life. Now there are God's speeches in this book from chapter 38 to 41. God does not answer directly to Job's questions. But in return, God puts several foundational and in fact ironic questions to Job and leads him to reflect deeper into the mystery of life, suffering and death. In these questions of God to Job, Job is led to a self-discovery and he encounters God. Encounter with God is a sign to demonstrate that God was aware of all that Job was going through and that he cared. Finally, Job is content and satisfied with God. His fortunes are restored in full and he finds peace. Yes, wisdom is found through suffering from the storms of life. My dear God's people, in today's gospel passage, we see Jesus with his disciples in a boat crossing over to the other side of the lake and there arose a great storm and we are told that Jesus was fast asleep. Many say as a human being, Jesus felt the need to sleep and therefore he slept. I would say Jesus as God, as the Son of God was aware of everything even though he was fast asleep. Anyway, the disciples panicked and woke up Jesus. This shows the lack of trust on the part of the disciples on their master Jesus Christ who had been powerfully teaching, performing miracles and even casting out demons. Jesus woke up and silenced the wind and the storm calmed down. This indeed shows the divinity of Jesus Christ who has control over the forces of nature. This also shows that Jesus cared for his disciples. Yes, my dear people of God, whenever we go through storms of life, Jesus, God, never abandons us. Sometimes he completely destroys all the winds, all the storms of life, vanishes them from our life and gives us peace. And sometimes he gently leads us through the storm so that we may learn deeper lessons of life as God did with Job. When life becomes difficult for you, 
when you go through the storms of life and you have no control over your situation, remember that God is always in control. Let's trust Him. May God bless all of you.